cycling now this year's Tour of Yorkshire's been and gone but the next fortnight is also a great time of year for bike racing right here in the region tonight and for the next two Wednesdays there is a mini series of town centre cycling to look forward to. Yes it all starts tonight in Ilkley and Paul Ogden is there for us. This explains Paul what was going on when I drove through Ilkley earlier. Ah, yes, uh, the roads have been closed since about four o'clock, Ian. Yet more evidence that Yorkshire is really the capital of cycling in the UK. The crowds are getting bigger and bigger here in Ilkley every year. This is the fourth edition and the junior races are going on in the background right now. We're going to have a women's elite race at about seven o'clock. And then the climax of the night is the men's elite race at about 8.40. Otley is next week. The week afterwards is Skipton on a Wednesday night as well. And we've also got the, World, uh, the National Circuit Race Championships in Sheffield in mid-July. Loads to look forward to. Tonight we've got a special treat because the gentleman we're going to speak to next is racing on home soil. Uh, a very rare occasion for him, Tom Pidcock. Many congratulations, Tom, on uh, your recent wins and your accolades. You've won here before, and you've yeah. also had some very big news in, in your cyclocross career that you can share with us now. Yeah, I've been signing with uh, Telenet for uh, two cyclocross seasons, um, one of the biggest cyclocross teams in the world. Just to remind people at home, Tom, this is circuit racing like this, except it's on muddy fields. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're big on it here in Yorkshire, but it is a national centre stage sport in Belgium. You're going to be housewife's choice over there if you don't watch it. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's definitely grown in the UK, but it's uh, on another level in uh, Belgium. It's a national sport there, like, like football is here. So you're going to emigrate for two years and, and make a career out of it over there? Um, well, we'll see in the long term, but no, I'm not going to live there. I'm going to live in Girona, I think to get in the sun and not in the freezing cold. And just race in Belgium and, and the Netherlands, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it all sounds very exciting. You make us very jealous. Tonight you've got a job to do here and you've got some tough, opposi tough opposition on the tarmac, haven't you? Tell us about that. Yeah, um, a few pros riding. I think Scott Thwaites was down on the start sheet, but I don't think he's riding anymore. Uh, but yeah, it should be good fun. Maybe Scott Thwaites, Commonwealth bronze medalist from Berlin Wharfdale up the road, has chickened out. Because he knows you're riding against him. Yeah, or, or, or maybe he's got bigger fish to fry, like the Todd France and stuff. But, yeah. Exactly right, exactly right. Tom, congratulations on your contract in Belgium. Ride well tonight. Uh, I'm sure Scott Waits wouldn't really check it out, by the way. I'm just going to move along here uh, and, and show you something, which is the big challenge of the night. If you don't mind stepping aside for a sec, Tom. This is the big hill. Uh, Riddings Road that is the big climb off the home straight and this is the one that's going to really burn the legs of all the competitors big change in gear and energy levels as well uh, for all the elite riders who are riding uh, at around seven o'clock uh, in the women's case and the men's elite race that tom peacock is involved in as well uh, from 8 40 onwards uh, the organizers ilkley cycling club have put on a great job uh, and that will continue next week in the case of otley uh, and at skipton don't forget that as well uh, in two weeks' time. Yorkshire, definitely at the centre of UK circuit tarmac racing. And we've also got that World Junior Cyclocross champion uh, to keep hold of for as long as we possibly can. Tom Pidcock, good to him tonight. Yeah, great. It looks like a great event. Everyone's having a great time there, Paul. Thank yeah. you very much indeed. Thank you. We're the only two people in Yorkshire that don't cycle. What do you mean? I, I do cycle sometimes. Oh, I didn't know that. Full of surprises, me, Charlotte. <laughs>